Hey man, what are you doing? I'm doing the dishes, what's it look like? Hey, you wanna try? Heck yeah, I wanna try. Hit me with the shotgun. Welcome back to Slightly Less Tactical. Today we're gonna to answer another question that nobody's asking. How many styrofoam plates does it take to stop the common bullets? Right here we got 600 styrofoam plates. We'll see if they stop anything. In the back we got some uh, tropical punch to let us know for sure if we stopped or went through. So we'll start with the 22, work our way up to a shotgun. Let's get loaded up and we'll do it. All right, got the 22 loaded up. Here's our first shot on the plate. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be a really short video. 22 just punched right through it. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, 22 definitely punched through all of it. Hit right here. Drove through all 600 plates. And into the jug. Doesn't even look like it slowed down at all, so... Oh well, let's check some uh, other guns, see what happens, I guess. Let's just destroy this and have fun, so let me load up. All right, since we already made the juice leak everywhere, let's just go hit it with the AK and see what happens. Make that juice really pop. All right, here we go. There we go. That took care of it. Let's go check it out and see what happened. Looks like we hit right here. I guess I forgot to turn that camera off. Right here, all the way through it as usual, as we just seen with the 22. Oh my, look at that. Bullet must have dove down, just tore them plates up. Must have been tumbling maybe. Yeah, you can see how it's keyholing a little bit right there. So that bullet turned sideways. Doubt we're gonna find it on the ground. Let's check out the jug. Oh yeah, typical AK-47 hit. No jug left. So what if we take that AK barrel and put it between these plates because they're tightly put together, how much damage will that do from the muzzle blast? Let me get it loaded up, we'll take a shot. Alright, got the AK. I'm going to go stick the barrel between those plates. <laughs> Alright, put some gloves on. All right, let's go check out the damage with that 762 did. You see it impacted way over there. And here's the plates. Not as bad as I thought it would be, really. I thought it would shoot them up more, but definitely put some holes through it. Let's try it with the 223. See if it's any different. All right, we got the 223 loaded up. Let's go stick the barrel in there. See what happens. All right, let's check out the damage here. We got plates everywhere. All right, we stuck it right about here somewhere. Let's see, here we go. Is that the AK? Look the AK right there. There's the 762 top of it. It just blew out all these setter plates. None of them are really damaged. It just pushed them all out from obviously the muzzle blast. So let me grab the shotgun, we'll do something else. All right guys, I had an idea. So I want to see if we could take the 22 and skip it through all them styrofoam plates, all right? Now I don't have many extra plates, so I brought the finest china a man could buy, all right? It's the only stuff I had laying around, inspecting a party. All right, just kidding, I just bought this for a dollar at the store. So 
I'm gonna take the 22 and try to skip it off here and see if we can make it through these plates. I'm gonna, that's a clear plate right here, minus the two holes we put through it. So, yeah, you can see that 762 is definitely sideways on there. That's crazy if just paper plates could do that. But let me load up the 22 and uh, we'll do we'll do this. All right, guys, I got the 22 loaded up. I'm gonna keep you back here safe so you don't get hurt. I'm gonna show you the close up on that camera. <laughs> Definitely didn't work that way. Set that down. Well, it did go up though. Technically, it did ricochet because it went up through the plates here. Let me go to the back and see. All right, guys, got the MP shield. We're shooting full metal jackets. All right, here we go. Definitely not. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. We're going to try it again. We obviously know it's going to shatter the plate. But we're going to use a 240 grain. Uh, jacketed hollow point out of the 44 mag. So, All right, no more 44 mag, mostly because it's extremely expensive right now and I can't afford it. So we're just gonna shoot some cheap buckshot. I definitely hit. Hope it's safe, so let's go check it out. Well, we just hit it with the buckshot. The plate just completely disintegrated. The plates went everywhere, so. I don't know if any of the pellets hit or just went straight to the table. Look at these closer plates here. Ah, there's some extra holes in them. Right there. Well, some of the pellets did go ricochet off the plates. Let's go take a look at the ones on the ground here. Those are the ones that got hit the most. Oh man. Yeah, it definitely hit. It looks like mostly what hit it was just the plate breaking up. Just the shrapnel from it. Yeah, some of the pellets did cut through though, it looks like. Especially on the front ones here. Let me clean this up real quick. I'll be get with you. Alright guys, so there you got it. Nothing is stopped by paper, paper plate. Or plastic plates, I suppose. These ain't paper. But maybe paper will do better. Maybe another time, I suppose, for that video. But thanks for watching Slightly Less Tactical. If you like the channel, please subscribe, like the video. Tell your friends and have a good one.